Hey folks, today I'm building an airsoft shotgun out of wood, sheet metal, and three quarter inch steel conduit. After cutting out and sanding the stock of the gun, I'm going to put it in the spice here and mark where I want the lighter to go. There, um, I think that's where I want it. I'm going to drill that out. I'm starting with a quarter inch drill bit. See if the lighter fits now. Uh, perfect. Nice. Now I'm using tin snips and uh, cutting out the metal for the side of my gun. I'm going to use a rubber mallet and hammer out all the bumps in the corrugated sheet metal. Using tin snips again, I'm going to cut out the shape I drew. Um, wrong one. Uh, this one. This is going to be the main body of my gun. I left these pieces of metal about two and a half inches wide, so I'm going to bend over this little bottom part. I'm going to use a piece of wood and then a mallet and hammer it over to start the bend, and then I'm going to use pliers. These are two 3x2 three two sheet metal plates that I'm using to hold up the fore end of my gun. I'm using three quarter by an eighth inch steel flat plate and cutting it at about two inches. Putting the front of my gun on the main body of my gun and taking that piece of metal I just cut by the way I cut a slot in it I ain't get it on camera but I did cut a slot in it this piece is so the shell when you fire it does not go flying back into your face I'm using two magnets to hold it up and then I'm going to weld it there and right there there now I'm going to weld it on be very careful when you're welding sheet metal to any other thicker metal. Now that it's welded on there, I'm going to remove the magnets. Oh, ooh, that's hot. Um, wear gloves. Uh, then I'm going to move the magnets to the top of the three quarter inch piece.
start cutting this out because I forgot I was doing a video. But uh, this is where the lighter is going to go. Now I'm going to put it on the stock of the gun for the first time. I'm going to make sure that this steel body of the gun is lined up with the stock so I can pre-drill some holes. screws in to the holes I just drilled. I'm pre-drilling them again because some of them didn't quite line up and stuff. I didn't drill very well. Oh crud, I think I just drilled through the... Okay, good. I didn't drill through the lighter. I'm going to use a hammer and hammer down all the edges of the metal which are sticking out beyond the stock. Perfect, now it doesn't feel like I'm going to cut myself. Perfect. It is time to put the two pieces of the gun together. So I'm going to be putting the stock and the barrel together now. I'm using a 1 8 inch drill bit for the first hole. I'm putting it about a quarter inch from either side on the body of my gun. Now I'm going to use a quarter inch bit. This is a quarter inch by inch and a half bolt and lock nut. Awesome, it works. I already pre drilled them, I'm just going to put the screws in the fore end of my gun. I'm going to put the barrel and fore end of my gun on the top of the main body, and then I'm going to use a drill with a 1 8 inch bit on it, drill a hole through right below the barrel. I'm going to put the two pieces back together and uh, put the bolt in the hole. I'm putting a nail in the 1 8 inch hole. This is for a stopper thing so when you close your gun it doesn't just fold in. I'm bending in the sheet metal so the barrel doesn't open up once I have it closed.
I'm using a heavy duty metal spray paint on this so I don't have to uh, deal with rust and stuff. I'm using a darker stain on the stock and the fore end of my gun. I think it turned out pretty well. I sanded the barrel to make it more shiny because conduit's not really shiny. And I bent this nail over that I'm using for a stopper. Uh, and this piece, you might have been wondering what that was. This is so uh, bits of firework doesn't get shot back into your face when you're shooting it. Uh, I also think the stain turned out pretty nice. It complements the silver very nicely. If you uh, want to see me shoot this gun, you have to wait for another video because this one's verging on too long anyways. But as always, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.